My name is Timothy Blenko. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, and this is Vertical the Worship Community. Exhortation. Now, the first image that comes to mind for me uh, when I hear the word exhortation is usually someone yelling over a pulpit somewhere. And I, that might just be me, but in my head I always see, you know, I, I, I wish I had one or two people who would, uh, would just shout right now, that kind of thing. But what's curious is that it's distinctly easy to forget uh, exactly what the noise is even about. You see, exhortation, when displayed correctly, uh, it's an understanding and it's a purposeful and powerful tool in the pocket of the worship leader. Now, if you are called into ministry, uh, you are specifically called into exhortation ministry. Okay, I'll talk a little bit about what that means. So here's why. Exhortation biblically means this. It's to call to one side or to summon. It's to beg, to entreat, or to beseech. Uh, it's to console, to encourage, and to strengthen. It's also to comfort. It's to instruct and to teach. Now that is a pretty hefty list of things exhortation actually is. You know, it just seems like what on earth does begging have to do with comforting or, or encouraging have to do with summoning? Here are some biblical examples of exhortation. Check out Acts uh, 2.40. And with many other words did he testify and exhort saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Or Acts 27, 22. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you but of the ship. Even Hebrew 3, 13 says, but exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. You see, the reason it can be easy to forget what all the noise is about is because we as worship leaders often find ourselves begging and pleading for the people who were worship leading to get with us while we are on the platform so we alone feel validated. Okay? But in the end, all that really produces is noise for the sake of noise. It's got to be for something bigger than that. And it's got to be for something more than that. Our position, our role as worship leaders is intended by God. It's our responsibility to treat that correctly. And a correct understanding of exhortation, it'll get us there. So what should exhortation look like from a worship ministry standpoint? Exhortation is responding, specifically responding to the need of the service by operating under the direction of the Holy Ghost to point people toward what God has intended for the service. Exhortation does not start with the sermon. It doesn't necessarily uh, have to be the pastor or the preacher that day whose responsibility it is to exhort, to, to teach, or to beg, or to plead. All those things respond uh, are the responsibility of even the worship team the moment the service begins. You see, when we open our mouths to speak, be it in between songs or with the lyrics alone of the songs we are singing, we must know that we are responding to the ebbs and the flows uh, of the service and, and what God is doing in the service. That is why it can look so different from Sunday to Sunday, how the song set can change from one Sunday to the next or even right in the middle of the service all of a sudden you have to sing another song or go a different direction because exhortation is a response from the worship leader from a worship leader standpoint in an attempt to get people to where God has intended for them in the service so it could be as if one service you have people and they come in and they're hurting they're sad or they're broken or weighed down. Something's going on in their lives. And they're in the building and they might not necessarily need to jump and run and shout. And that's okay. That's what is going on. 
It's an understanding that what God has placed for us to do will lead you to feel that, uh, that, that level of exhortation and encouragement. And, and maybe in that moment you'll tell them, you know what? Let's just calm down and let's focus on the Lord. That's exhortation. Or perhaps the next service people have come in and are feeling tired and they're feeling, you know, feeling lazy and it's been a long week. Now is the time to push them a bit and get them going and get them jazzed up and energized. That's exhortation. It's a response saying this is what's needed. If it's a beg and a plead that's needed, it's a beg and a plead. We as worship leaders, we have the responsibility to approach every service fearfully and prayerfully. Why? Because if we approach a service without having first touched heaven, we run the risk of not being prepared to respond how God would have us respond. When we exhort, we do so in the Spirit of God. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to subscribe.